All right, Jawa James is here in the house uh, this week for James Reads the Star Wars Expanded Universe. I have Star Wars The Truce of Bakura by Kathy Tires. Uh, this is one of, we're going old school this week. How old is this? This this hardcover, back when it was printed, cost $21.95. All right, actually, when, when, when was this book printed? Uh, let's see. 1994, so uh, happy 20th anniversary, the Truce of Bakura. All right, we're going to get started. I'm going to read the dedication. No, no, no. I... <laughs> we're not going to read the dedication. We are going to read um, something from one of the early chapters here. All right. R2's reply dropped disapprovingly in pitch as he wheeled away, but less than a minute later he rolled back, trailing a wheeled cart. He steered it to Luke's bedside and it extended a connector into its input port. Bakura, Luke said, data files. As the computer analyzed his voice print to confirm his security clearance, Luke stretched out and blinked. He'd never so appreciated normal, single vision. A cloud-frosted blue world appeared on the screen. Bakura, said a bland, mature female voice. Imperial Study Survey 60774. Cloud cover swirled closer. Luke's vision dropped through it to hover over a vast range of green mountains. Through a deep valley, two broad parallel rivers cut the mountains and wound down to a verdant delta. Luke imagined rich, damp smells like on Endor. Salas Dar, capital city, is the seat of imperial governorship. Bakuran contributions to imperial security include a modest flow of strategic metals, so green, so wet. Luke shut his eyes, his head sank. He sprawled on the deck of a strange spaceship. A huge reptilian alien, brown scaled with a blunt, oversized head, tromped toward him, waving a weapon. Luke ignited his lightsaber. Heavy with the Emperor's fingerprints, it slid through his grip. Then he recognized the big lizard's weapon. A restraining bolt owner used to control droids. Laughing, he leaped into a fighting stance. The lizard's owner whirred. Luke froze in place. What? Disbelieving, he looked down. He had a droid's stiff jointed body. Again, the alien raised its owner device. Luke fought back to consciousness. He felt a powerful presence in the force and sat up too quickly. Invisible hammers bashed both sides of his head. The screen stood dark. On the foot of his flotation bed sat Ben Kenobi, robed as usual in unbleached homespun, shimmering under the cabin's faint night glimpse. Obi-Wan, Luke murmured. What's happening at Bakura? Ionized air danced around the figure. You are going to Bakura, it answered. Is it that bad? Luke asked bluntly, not really expecting an answer. Ben rarely gave them. He seemed to come mostly to reprimand Luke, like a teacher who could not give up hounding his student after graduation. Not that Ben had stayed around to finish his training. Obi-Wan shifted on the bed, but the bed didn't shift with him. The manifestation wasn't literally physical. Emperor Palpatine achieved first contact with the aliens attacking Bakura, said the apparition, during one of his force meditations. He offered them a deal, one that can no longer be honored. What kind of deal? Luke asked quietly. What danger are the Bakurans in? You must go. Ben still didn't hear Luke's questions. If you do not attend to the matter personally, Luke, Bakura and all worlds, both allied and imperial, will know a far greater disaster than you can imagine. Then it was as serious as they feared. Luke shook his head. I need to know more. I can't rush in blindly, and besides, I'm... Shimmering air brightened and rushed inward, stirring faint air currents as the image vanished. Luke groaned. Somehow he'd have to persuade the medical committee to release him, and then convince Admiral Akbar to give him the assignment. He would promise to rest and heal himself in hyperspace if he could figure out how. Suddenly the notion of battle no longer excited him at all. He shut his eyes and sighed. Master Yoda would be pleased. R2, he said. Call Admiral Akbar. R2 burbled. I know it's late. Apologize for waking him. Tell him... He glanced around. Tell him if he doesn't care to come to the clinic lounge, we can set something up in the war room. All right, and that was a section from The Truce of Bakura by Kathy Tires. We'll see you next time. May the Force be with you.